Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario in the last episode. We did a very, very, very annoying side quest involving mail, and now I officially hate postmen. In this episode, we are... well, I don't hate postmen, I just more so hate being a postman. In this episode, we are going to finally head to Star... not Star Hill, but whatever the place is called. We're going to some star place to go save Peach and something, I don't know. Nintendo's got way too many thing, Mar things in Mario games with the word star in it. Only they could keep it Star Road and Star Hill, and we get to go. Maybe I should read the sign and figure out what it's called. Shooting Star Summit, that's a name. Alright then. Let's go ahead and try to head up there, I guess. This place looks all fancy schmancy. Hmm, we've been here like once before, but now it looks even more fancy because there's 100% less Goombario here. Yay! Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna keep on going through here, and eventually we'll get to the top. And there's a fly in my room that's very annoying, it's gonna ruin the finale of the game! Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway contains all the way up... Oh, continues all the way up to he here to Starhaven, I could read. We seven star spirits will be waiting for you here. We wish to give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the star rod Bowser holds. Uh... Swear to God, Fly, get out of here! We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Star Haven. Now doesn't this look all fancy schmancy? Walking on hopes and dreams! You're not a hope and dream! You're a flamey flame! What the heck is this thing? It's an ember! Alright. Takes six damage. Oh, and they multiply when you hit them, but they have the same amount of HP. Wah! Wow, can't hurt them, unfortunately, so I gotta switch to, like, Cooper? Cooper or Black Lester are the only ones who can hurt them, I think. With regular attacks. Ouch! What's with this thing, Eldstar? I thought you were gonna give us like a nice, friendly in invitation or something. And of course, Lack of Lester's out of commission. Of course. Uh, uh, I don't have any. I don't have fire shield on. Uh, I have only healing items. Oh no, I have a Thunder Agent Shooting Star. I don't want to waste it here though. All right, I'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, I completely forgot that there were even enemies on the way up here. And we're taking so much damage! I know there's a Toad House at the top of this thing, so it doesn't really matter, but still... Don't appreciate it. I also don't appreciate useless spells! Alright, whatever. Just increase our hammer attack, and... Boom! Nine damage! Alright... Alright, let's go ahead and attack him. Boing, 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 boing! And Lack of Lester's back, alright. How much one buddy's gonna get kicked out immediately? Oh no, hooray! Awesome! Alright, so we can finish off this fight! Awesome, possum, cherry blossom! Oh, come on, are you serious? What did I do wrong? Well, you know what, spiny surge. <laughs> Ten stop points for me! Alright, that was annoying. Let's just grab all our moolah and get up here. Let's see any other enemies? Like, let's just went off somewhere else. Alright then. Yes, of course there are more enemies, because why not? And of course I can't first strike them. Alright, just grab all the stuff. God, I can't believe we're already here at the end of the game. Like, this went by so stinking fast. Especially, like, for a game that, like, is typically very long. And we got another guy to ruin the momentum, ruin my conversation with you guys. Oh, I got another shooting star. How wonderful, except I can't carry it. Okay, let's grab all this useless money, because we're, we're at the end of the game. We don't really need to buy anything else ever again. And here we are, at the top of Shooting Star Summit, a.k.a. Starway. Or Star Haven. Chuck Quizmo, what the heck is he doing here? Okay, let's talk to him. 
Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Jaquizmo! Wanna try the final quiz? Yeah! One more quiz for the road. Let's go to the question! Question! What's the name of the leader of the red and blue Goomba Bros? Dr. Goomba. Big Goom Goomba King. Kawiz! Congratulations! Here's your stop pace! You correctly answered seven questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Very well till we meet again. It's really weird to see him up here of all places, but okay, I'll take it. So we got a bunch of star children who are already up at Starway. They got like different sprites than Twink because they're special. Alright, let's go in here and rest up because those embers were very annoying. You know what else is annoying? The stinking fly in my room! I swear to god, I'm not recording the rest of this chapter without getting rid of the stinking fly. My god, I hate flies so much. Let's go ahead and save right here. Alright, oh my god, fly. Buzz off! <clears throat> oh, this is the Midnight Yells at Fly episode. Oh, my favorite episode. Uh, there's an item shop up there, got life shrooms, shooting stars, super shrooms and everything like that, but I don't really need them because it's the end of the game and I have full inventory. Who needs super shrooms when you got wackus bumps? What's in here? Uh, just a house? Gives me great joy to hear the star spirits return. Our only wish now is for the return of the star rod. It seems so odd to start making a wish. Alright. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. It's a ball of gas and fire, it can't hear you. Where the fruit am I supposed to go? Uh, hello, star kids. Care to help an old man out? Uh, maybe over here. Alright then, thanks guys. I swear to god, this fly is the most annoying thing ever. I see it right there. I'm going to kill it. On camera. What do I hit it with? Harmonica. I got where to go. God darn, I looked away for like half a second. I was gonna whack it with a harmonica. Ugh, whatever. Here we are. Star Haven. Da 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 da. Huh. Let's go ahead and see the star spirits. Mario, you finally made it. The time has come for you to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to bestow upon you our final power. Their final power to us is... Mario can now use Star Beam! If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Oh, yes, and one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. A brand new car! <laughs> you thought I was joking, didn't you? This is the legendary starship of Star Haven. Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach him. Climb aboard, on to Bowser's castle. We will always be with you, whenever you are in need. Use our powers to help you. Alright guys, are you ready? Let's go take on Bowser. Me too! I want to see the princess! I want to see the princess! I want to see the princess! I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake! Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes, pretty please! What a selfish little butt nugget. Alright, here we are, going to the final chapter, guys! Chapter 8! 
defeat a star-powered showdown! Now my question is, why don't we just fly up to the top of Peach's castle? Why do we have to start from the bottom all the way going all the way up? I don't get it either, guys. I also don't get why I'm so unprepared! Why is my voice like so dead right now? I don't get it. Alright, we went out of Bowser's head. That's phenomenal. Alright, whatever. So, right off the bat, there's a badge over there. You gotta need to do some backtracking in order to get it later on. I'll just tell you right now, it's deep focus. You don't want it. Okay, so, we're just gonna look for the key to that door over there. Go in here. Now, what's kind of cool is that you get to use all your party members, and I've decided that I'm not going to automatically switch to want whenever I want to. I'm, oh god, I probably should also equip Spike Shield for this area because uh, we need it. Uh, let's see. Do I need Pretty Lucky and Lucky Day? I'd like it, but I don't think I need it. Uh, I have two damage dodges. Uh, phooey. I also don't really need Peekaboo. I'll get rid of Peekaboo, I guess. Because uh, it's not completely necessary. And Spike Shield is too... And speedy spin, why not? Get that back on. Alright, here's our first instance of a Koopa Troll! I totally first strike that dude. Alright, whatever. So, Koopa Troll, they are the toughest of the tough Koopas. And as you can see, they don't do any damage to them when we jump on them, and Mario's Hammer also does nothing to them. Alright, it's gonna have what? Electrify him. And what I've decided to do for this dungeon, this final area, whenever I switch to a party member when it's required for like a puzzle or something, I'm going to make sure that like I don't automatically switch back to what afterwards. It's just so every party member gets like their own time in the sun, except for Mario, because he's in that game. Alright, bing! So that's what I've decided to do for this final area. Do -do 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 -do. The Koopa Trolls are pretty tough with their attack power. But with someone who has two damage dodges, it's not really that big of a deal. Hey, a bunch of toads in prison! I'll save you guys! Okay, maybe I should talk to them. Maybe that'd be something I could do. Uh, I can't even talk to them. How lame. Alright, whatever. Who are you guys? Just letting you know that Mario's here to save the day. Alright, let's go over here. And thankfully they can't fall into the lava because of invisible walls. Go over to here. And empty the door. Right then, we're in the inside of Bowser's castle. There you go, there's the first strike. Three damage, hooray. Just jump on, I probably should have jumped on the other one just to paralyze them both. My B, all right, whatever. Let's go ahead and Electro Dash you. Bing! And let's see, oh yes, they could summon people as well. That's another thing about them that's kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and jump on you. Cause I'm feeling 22, except not really. Now it's Electro Dash U, so it'll be set up for a perfect sweep of no damage. Very nice! Hmm, yes. Uh, let's jump, and a jump, and let's finish you off with what? Uh, I love saying that so super much, I don't know why, but whatever. So, just giving you a heads up on when I'm recording this, just because I like to do that because I'm so far ahead of recording. I'm recording this the day my Let's Play of The Walking Dead starts, so, uh, just giving you a heads up of how far ahead I am in recording. Hope you guys like that LP, I really liked it a lot, in my opinion, and I hope you guys like it too. Alright, we're gonna find a third one of these guys. Alright, I'm also recording this on the day that Super Mario Maker comes out, so that's cool. I'm getting to be able to play that, which is super fun. And I also went ahead and pre-ordered... Oh god, I have more enemies. I first struck you. As I was saying, I went ahead and pre-ordered Yoshi's Woolly World and uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier. I don't hear anybody talking about Rodea the Sky Soldier, and I'm kind of lucky. Four of them! Fine. Um, so I'll just talk about Rodea, I guess. Rodea is a game that's been out in Japan for a while, and it is, it's very similar to Knights in terms of gameplay, so I just got really excited for it, because I love games that allow you to fly. And I'm just really excited to finally play it. And like, it's sort of weird, it comes, it's a Wii U game. It also comes on the 3DS, but I'm getting the Wii U version. But it comes with the Wii version of the games, like a special pre-order bonus. Like, why would you want the Wii version? Like, what's different exactly? I don't know. So, you're getting both the Wii and Wii U version, which is pre pre-order bonus, which is sort of weird, but whatever. Game A game is a game, so I'll take it. I buy that for a dollar. 
Okay, these guys can apparently also charge up and stuff. That's a thing. Oh, uh, didn't know they could do that. And when they go in the shell, they're invincible. Okay. We're gonna be in for some ouchies if I don't get rid of this guy. Uh, we're in for some ouchies! <laughs> oh, so much for some ouchies. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love having Lucky Day and Pretty Lucky on, as well as two damage dodge badges on. Jeez, I'm like way overpowered for this area. Alright, let's go ahead and get a Super Shroom. Uh, let's drop a Wacka's Bump for a second and use that Super Shroom. Alright, very nice. I like how the coins are all in like a big circle. So yeah, I'm like super excited for Rotate of the Sky Soldier. It's been getting delayed a lot though, which is unfortunate, but whatever. It's like Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. I was like super looking forward to it, and then it just like keeps on getting delayed. And like somehow I got a first strike, alright, whatever. And the spin jump too. We got a new enemy, the Hammer Bro, with their weird looking feet. I don't know what's with their feet in this game, but whatever. See, obviously they're gonna throw hammers at you. They could throw like a bunch of them at you at the same time, kinda like when a white club uh, hits you over and over again. It's really annoying, but whatever. Let's see what's, what's he gonna do. Just one hammer, alright, whatever. I'm just one hammer, and when I die, you'll remember me! I don't know. And they got a point of defense, as you can see, because they only did two damage when Mario's jumping on his face. Alright. Okay, that was like mega hammer attack, but it missed. Okay, thankfully that happened. So I would not have liked taking all those hammers to the face. It would have been very unfortunate. Ooh, double star points in a point where it actually is useful. Alright then, I'll take that. We get ourselves 16 star points! You know, I really should be using Gubari for this area because we're not going to use him for any puzzles or anything like that. So maybe I should just switch to him like right at the beginning to like make it so I use him. I don't know. I just really don't like him. <laughs> Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. You want to go through here? Hmm. You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Why else do I say no? Well, if you don't want to go through here, then you're wasting my time. Go away, now! Okay. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Alright, let's go back in. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Yes, I want to go through. Okay, then, here, <laughs> stand in front of me. What a nice guy. This can't possibly be some sort of trap. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Uh, you sure? Okay, then, I'll let you go through. Through the floor! Ha <laughs> ha! You fell for it, worm. Literally, we fell for it. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like, and all you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you can make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ah ha ha I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. Gah! And there comes what? Alright, got a heart block. How nice. Alright, we got a bunch of toads locked up in here. Ooh, blocks that I can break. Uh, let's see what they got inside. Nothing. Uh, tasty tonic. I don't want a tasty tonic, but I do want my life shroom. Nice. Uh, I'll get rid of my thunder rage, I guess. Alright then. Gee, I wonder what we're supposed to do to get out of here. I have no idea whatsoever. I'm about to blow up the wall, obviously! There we go! It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of the Koopa Bro Fortress. You're really lucky to have me along, aren't you? Alright, we're gonna escape prison, and we're gonna save the rest of this for the next episode, alright? Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna climb our way back up the castle again! This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later after I kill this fly! Thank you.